Did you know Sam Raimi and Defoe pulled a prank on Melina while preparing for this scene? Melina was offset on a break, which allowed Sam Raimi to sneak in Willem Defoe. He even placed the Spider-Man villain in Melina's spot on set. When Melina returned from his break, he found the cameras rolling and Defoe acting out his Doc Ock dialogue. One of the reasons why Alfred Molina wanted to play Doc Ock was because his arms weren't going to be entirely computer-generated. In fact, Sam Raimi had a suit designed before the script was even finished. This extremely heavy suit, which included the four tentacles, gave Molina something to interact with. Although the creation of the suit proved to be complicated, the filmmakers ultimately came up with something that had the right proportion, style, and balance. The entire suit weighed about 100 pounds. Alfred Molina lost some weight for the role. He said he wanted Doc Ock to have the build of a 1950s weightlifter. The precious substance that Doc Ock uses to power his fusion device tritium does actually exist in real life. Tritium is not as rare as it is described in the story, and it can be created artificially. Ladies and gentlemen, Fasten your seatbelts. The scene was shot over several days, with complex camera shots and carefully choreographed actor movements. Director Sam Raimi wanted to create a tense and suspenseful atmosphere when introducing Dr. Octopus's technology. Molina actually named the four tentacles Larry, Harry, Flo, and Mo. Flo, the top right tentacle, was given a female name because it was operated by a female crew member and acted as the most motherly of all the tentacles, which removed his sunglasses and gave him sips of his drink. Another thing that attracted Molina to the character of Doc Ock was his twisted, sardonic sense of humor. The power of the sun in the palm of my hand. Alfred Molina, who played Dr. Octopus in the film, didn't do his own stunts. He gave two main reasons why he resolved to not risk it. Firstly, he said that he didn't want to put any stunt person out of work. Secondly, he confessed that he wasn't very good at stunts and didn't want to hurt himself or others. Doc Ock's lab scene was shot at the Anthology Film Archives, one of New York's most famous venues for avant-garde cinema founded by legendary filmmaker Jonas Mekas. Did you know that Kirsten Dunst and Tobey Maguire began dating during the filming of the first movie? They eventually broke up before the second film was made. <laughs> Sam Raimi was concerned that the relationship love me and its end would mean losing some of his actors on-screen chemistry for the second film. Luckily for us, their on-screen chemistry was off the charts. All right. Don't. 
This scene was shot in one day, but required rehearsals and multiple takes to achieve the desired camera angles and emotions. Director Sam Raimi wanted the plot of Spider-Man 2 to focus on characters rather than special effects. He wanted audiences to care about Peter Parker and his personal issues as much as about Spider-Man and his adventures. The move was praised by critics and fans alike, who felt it gave depth and humanity to the story. Raimi worked with the production team to create a romantic mood for the scene. He used soft, dim lighting to create an intimate atmosphere in the cafe. The scene was shot in public and caught the attention of fans and tourists nearby. This made the scene more difficult for the production team to shoot, as they had to manage the crowd and ensure the takes were completed without interruption. The car that Dr. Octopus throws at the deli is a 2004 Saturn Ion Quad Coupe. Saturn provided four for production, of which three were used. Each was hurled 30 yards into the building. Actor Alfred Molina played the role of Dr. Octopus and had to wear a special suit to create the character's mechanical tentacles. What do you want? These tentacles were also controlled by a team of 16 people who worked behind the scenes to make it look like they were moving. Tell him to meet me at the West Side Tower at 3 o'clock. Well, I don't know where he is. Find him. Or I'll peel the flesh off her bones. If you lay... Molina was cast in the role after Sam Raimi saw his portrayal in the movie Frida. Molina accepted the role partly because he wanted to work with Sam Raimi, who he had long admired. 